game. Let's get to some real gameplay, guys. I want to beat some Heartless. Day two on Destiny Island. Let's go for it. Find everyone. I'll talk to you a little bit. I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh, no, wrong entrance. Oops. There's a lot of random doors on this island that lead you places. Most of them actually lead you to the same place, except those. This is the one you want to go through. So take you to where Riku and Kyrie are. His name. Let's see. How about High Wind? What do you want to call it? Scalibur? No. I'm gonna call it. Butts. Hey. Butts! This race used to trip me up so much growing up. Touch the star and then work your way back. If I win, uh, I'm captain. And if you win, I get to share the palpu with Kyrie. Huh? Don't be a little bitch, Riku. Deal? The winner gets to share a palpu with on. Kyrie. Uh, wait a minute. We get it. You're in okay. love with her. On my count. But I'm gonna win this because I got the power of good in my heart. Okay. So run, run! He's gonna try to push you off the track, and you're just gonna have to fight back. Watch out for that thing. Um, I usually try to go for the zip line. Go, go, ninja, go, ninja, go! Ah, oh, crap! And he's still. Ah, oh, fudge! Okay, I lost. There's no way I'm reclaiming this. I wanted to name the rat Butts. Dang it. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning. Crap, I'm usually so good at this. Dang it. So much for naming the rat Butts. Oh wait, I can still relay this? Oh no. Nope, there's not a shot in hell. Ugh. I really want to name that rat Butts. What's that? Oh, Tofu was a joke. Um, no, it has. It doesn't really matter if you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Kingdom Hearts! Let's go talk to Kyrie and see what she needs me to find, because apparently she cannot get off the lazy ass to go get these things herself. One seagull egg, three mushrooms, two coconuts, three fish, and drinking water. Not from the ocean. Okay, so the coconuts are going to be right in these trees, and the way to get them down is you have to hit them. But you can only get the yellow coconuts. I don't know why. Also, didn't even know that there were yellow coconuts. There we go, here it is one. And there's two. Okay, we need some mushrooms. No, store. Stop humping the tree. Okay, so the mushrooms are gonna hide in like really weird, random places. Um, first one is actually right by Kyrie. You have to push the boulder out of the way, and you did it! You got a mushroom! Yay, you! You're so good at this game. Ooh, um, fun secret is you can lift this box, throw it over Nya, throw it over Nya. Use it to climb up here. Use it to climb. Climb. Damn it. Climb. And there's a treasure chest. Uh, the chains are going to come in handy later in the game. Not so much right now. But they're going to help you level up your keyblade to make it the coolest blade in the world. Actually, no, I didn't want to go down there. Um, the fresh water is actually coming from this spring right here. 
do, 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 do. I know that you guys probably already know most of these things about the game, so hope this isn't useless to you. Hope you're enjoying the ride. Okay, let's go fight some bitches. It also helps to talk to these guys in the island because they talk about things that are important. Like the secret place at the base of this tree. Uh, that's where you'll find the third mushroom. Three, not two, three. Uh, but also, there's a cool scene in there in a little bit, but I'm gonna fight these guys first. Count three of these statues. Show me your stuff. Okay. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. Come on, you little bitch. Oh, this is fresh. I'll get to this in a bit. Yeah! I'm the best! Yeah, I have. Oh, thank you. Um. I'm gonna keep fighting for a little bit longer. Also, I'm gonna get some fish. Uh, the fish are swimming in the water, so all you gotta do is like go up to them. And apparently that's when sort of grabs them or something. Don't go too far into the water though, because swimming's annoying. And ain't nobody got time for that. See, it's just the swimming mechanisms in this game are not ideal, and you'll find out more about that later in the game when you have to play in a freaking little mermaid world. I think you've gotten stronger. But odds are, you're still no match for Riku. Yeah, thanks for rubbing it in, dude. We took him on three to one last time. He whipped us all. Well, I guess Kairi can always count on him. Ooh, that is some major shade you're throwing right there, dude. Uh, let's go one on one. You're going down. Eat this, dude. Oh, swung too soon. Bam! There you go, lots of strength. Take bitches down. Oh. I like how these guys are all significantly stronger than me because they can take me down to like four hits, and meanwhile it takes me like 20, 30 hits to take any of them down. Freaking ridiculous. Um, okay, where's that other mushroom? I can never. Oh, the seagull egg is up here. Why we need a seagull egg? I have no idea. Maybe for like the seagull omelets or something. Um, I'm gonna go fight that little girl. I'm gonna go beat the crap out of a 12 year old girl. Cause that's what I do. Oh, just fell off the edge. Yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. It's so romantic. I gotta try it sometime. Oh, her eyes are so creepy. Okay, don't hold back. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Bam! Uh, uh, suck it, sucker! Suck to suck! Bam! Oh. I'm literally just swinging at nothing right now. Uh, nuts. Okay, that's cool. Took her a few hits. Really didn't. I really think it was skill and not luck that helped me beat the crap out of you. Okay, let's go into the hidden place now for this super cool cutscene.
Mushroom. Getting the mushroom activates the scene. Aww, little baby Sora and Kyrie looking at each other all loving. Like, Kyrie is not a good artist, apparently. She can't even draw a good self portrait. Oh, wait, just kidding. It was Sora who drew it. Sora, you suck. You're horrible, dude. She looks all ratchet. It's actually really cute. He just wants to share a pal poo with Kyrie. Who's there? I've come to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, this is where they start to bring in the whole that? weird plot about worlds being connected, Time and there's like a heart the of the world and a door that you have to do to things to. I'm not really going to talk about it yet because that's major pop points later on. Well, whoever you are. Stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Huh? Well, where did you come from? You're literally talking to him. You Don't be surprised that you see him. What lies beyond the door? So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh, yeah? Well, you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Burn! He just told you. Okay. Let's get back to things. Actually, uh, you can examine the door or whatever. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary, except for the random freaking door that's in the middle of your island, dude. Sora, you're an idiot sometimes. Let's go to the mall. No, let's go to another world today. I think I have everything. I think I'm missing a mushroom, I want to say. Um, I have to get two or three. I think I had to get three. The other one's like really easy to find. Although I forgot it. Oops. Is it? No, it's not down here. It's on the other side, I think. Right? No? Well, I'm stocked, kind of. I think I got it all. Oh, that's important. That thing right there, that charm, it's probably one of the most important things in the game. There's that less mushroom. I suck, apparently. It's not up here. It's on this half of the island, right? Oh, it's right there. Okay, I'm good. Let's go, Kyrie. Let's go explore some worlds on this janky ass raft that you built. Oh, thank you, Kyrie. Let's go home. Carrie's all pensive and Sora, shit right now. Let's take the raft and go. Just the, the two of us. Huh? Somebody's thirsty. It's me. What's gotten into you? That's why I have a nice coffee. Changed, Kyrie. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready. <laughs> That's what she said. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? Yeah. Isn't that what Gordo wrote in Lizzie's yearbook in Lizzie McGuire? Wait. I think it's it is. Set sail. It'll be great.
Cutscenes galore. You gotta make this one fun. I'll read it as King Mickey. Donald! Sorry to rush off without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing! Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, and that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave you all, but I gotta go check it out, or into it, whatever I just wrote. There's something with a key, the key to our survival, so I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him, got it? We need that key or we're doomed, so go to Travers Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. I really can't do impressions, I'm not really good. P.S. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Oh dear. What could this mean? Uh, it means he left. <laughs> Duh. Minnie, we'll just have to trust the king. Damn right. Gosh, I sure hope he's alright. I want to know what she has to take care of. Did they ever tell you that? He wants her to take care of something, but they don't really specify what. Over here. He's not that small, guys. You can see him. The name? Jiminy Cricket at your service. For your safe return, please help the king. Who put Goofy in charge of being, like, the guard of the castle? That was dumb. Gorge, Jiminy. Your world disappeared, too. It was terrible. Uh, we were scattered. These scenes are so long. I know that I can skip them, but I don't want to. Takes away from the plot. Oh, right. I gotcha. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. Right. World border. <laughs> also, you're probably wondering why I'm shirtless. You know, 40 minutes into this. It is very hot in Los Angeles, and I got a new tattoo, and it hurts. So... I'm not gonna wear a shirt for right now. Deal with it. That ship does not look safe at all. And you expect me to ride around on it for the rest of this game? No. Are their parents really that cool with them going around to other worlds on this dinky little raft? 
Where are the parents? Sarah, dinner's ready. Come on down. Apparently cooking dinner. Sarah? That means something serious is happening. There's going to be a fight. I don't know. Maybe it's a horrifying big black hole. Okay, now we're gonna get to fighting. Okay, so whatever you do, don't approach these guys. You don't have an actual weapon, you have a cardboard sword or a wooden sword or whatever, and it's not going to help. Go uh, find Riku. Because you can't do anything on your own, Sora. Okay, Riku's going to be on that little islandy thing where you first fought him. Because apparently that's where he hangs out all the time. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We've got to find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. So, so you're not using the rap anymore, which no comes. turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. I don't I don't think we should trust Riku. him. Bye, Riku. There we go. And this is the first you're ever actually seeing of the Keyblade in the game. You don't really know what it is. It's just like a giant key. And like the weird disembodied voice is telling you about it. Just telling you its name. Keyblade. Keyblade. And now you can actually kill the Heartless. And if you level yourself up enough, it'll only take like one or two hits, which is awesome. My theory is just to kill as many as possible while also not letting it detract from your gameplay because you do actually want to get off the island and start seriously playing the game, but they also drop items sometimes. Also, I should really want to check the status. Uh, 29 to the next level. I can kill 29 more heartless before my next battle, right? Uh, no, let's, let's forget about it. I don't want to fall off this bridge. Uh, just go away, okay? Let's go to the door now. God, they're everywhere. I'm like herpes. They don't go away. There's always more where that is. Status report 21. Okay, oh, okay. Um, get out of here. Oh, I can't see anything. Creepy. Bye, girl. Bye, door. And now everything you know and love is gone. So, how does that feel, Sora? Time to 
fight. Okay, like I said, lock on to the left hand, because that's usually what he's going to attack with first. Oh, he goes right into the Shadow Balls, so watch out for those guys. They are terrible. Shoot! that often. Jeez. I don't know why. It's always the left hand. Oh, and yeah. Potion, potion. It puts the potion on its skin. The sight. There we go. Gotcha. And then just like mash the crap out of it. All right, so we did it. We finally got past the island. It only takes about mm, an hour or so. So I hope you guys really, really freaking enjoyed this because that was a long gameplay for one simple level. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll be doing these in shorter installments, unless you guys like this. If you want me to keep playing all the way through, just tell me in the comments below. Going out. And there goes your island. Peace out, dude. And you have finally made it to another world. Your dreams are coming true. Congratulations, Sora. It only took you about an hour. No shit, Goofy. You know, I bet you that, uh... Ah, why do you know that we can attack? Ooh, what do I mean, fair. Come on, Pluto! I like how he's not at all phased the fact that he just probably lost everybody he's ever known and loved. He's more concerned with the fact that he's on a new world. Like, wouldn't you be wondering about your family, your friends, I don't know, the girl you love? Let's go find a save point so we can, uh, keep this in for next time. So this is the accessory shop, it's very helpful in the future, can't really get anything now because you don't have any money, but for right now it's where the closest save point is. Okay now you think to go find Riku and Kairi. And he seems like not at all a pedophile and that he totally wants to help me because that's the rational thing to think in this game uh, just, just up there and let's save and you did it you got off the island if you have other suggestions for games you would love to see me play let me know as well like this video if it was informative if it helped you play through the game or if you just thought my commentary was less than annoying go subscribe to the geek and sundry vlogs channel along with the main channel subscribe to my channel and uh yeah i think that's it and i hope this video satisfied you in a way that was not sexual but potentially could be and until next time i'll catch you later nerds